最高の。はい、ね。お。ああ。So they don't get lucky. What is going on, O fans? This match is the World Pro Tournament 1988. World class players, including the Filipino magician Efren Reyes and a back to back US Open champion known as the Kentucky Colonel, Nick Varner, will be facing off in this highly anticipated match. This nine ball match is a race to nine game. Efren Reyes breaks the first track of the competition. Unfortunately, he got dry on this one, so Nick Warner will take over. He can see the one ball entirely, but the cue ball is positioned close to the rail. Varner executes an impressive 180 karom shot. He attempts a defensive shot, but due to a double kiss, Efren gets a chance to shoot the one ball. Both players have already earned significant major titles. So this is going to be a very exciting match. I think Efren Reyes is in his prime as he is in his 30s. He is 34 years old which is still considered to be within the prime age for many athletes. <laughs> Efren wins the first track of the game. On rack 6, Varner quickly scores a golden brick by pocketing the 9 ball in the side pocket. Moving on to rack 7, with Efren leading 4 to 2, he will now try to execute a 1 2 combination shot. Efren undercuts the 1 ball, causing the 2 ball to wobble out of the pocket. Now, and Varner will take his turn and attempt to close the gap with Efren's lead. Nick Varner is an American pool player who won three world championship titles. Warner executes an excellent bank shot on the 5 ball and positions himself well for the next shot. Nick Warner is known for his consistent and methodical style of play, earning him the nickname the Kentucky Colonel. Nick Varner successfully clears the table and is now only one rack behind Efren. 
as we head into rack 9, the match is now tied at 4 apiece. Efren makes a skillful kick shot on the 2 ball here. Varner tries to play a defensive shot, but he inadvertently placed the 2 ball close to the 9 ball, giving Efren the opportunity to execute a quick combination shot and end the rack. Our friend successfully makes the combination shot and retakes the lead by one rack. Moving on to rack 11 with a score tied at 5 each, our friend starts with a good break by pocketing 3 balls. In the 1980s, Efren Reyes was so dominant in the Philippines that he was banned from entering certain tournaments in order to give other players a chance to win. What? Unexpectedly, Efren misses the 7 ball, giving Varner an opportunity at the table. For the first time in the match, the Kentucky Colonel takes the lead. As we head into Rack 12, Varner starts with an excellent break. Varner has a clear shot at the one ball, and the table layout provides him with a chance for a quick 3-9 combination to win this rack. Warner successfully executes the combination shot and extends his lead by two racks. At this point, he is gaining confidence and the pressure is mounting on Efren's side. As we proceed to rock 15, Efren shows great skill and determination. Managing to catch up, tying the match at 7 apiece. Efren Reyes is known for his ability to perform well under pressure. He has won numerous matches and titles by making incredible shots and comebacks when the pressure is on. His composure under pressure has made him one of the most respected and most admired players in the world of pool and his influence and legacy continue to inspire generations of aspiring players to strive for excellence in their own game. Make a pressure is good, like a nervous, no? In addition to his skills on the table, Efren's humble and gracious personality has also earned him a reputation as a true gentleman of the sport. We are now on rack 16 where Efren is on the brink of victory, but he is faced with a difficult situation as he does not have a clear shot on the one ball. Efren executes an impressive kick safety shot. Although Varner's view of the one ball is limited, he can still see enough of it to make a decision. He could either opt for a defensive shot or take a more aggressive approach with a bank shot on the one ball. 
これはねおそらくバンクで今。Warner took the risk and went for the bank shot. He puts the one ball and leaving himself an open table to secure a possible heel heel match. Nick Warner won his first major title, the US Open Nine Ball Championship. In the 1980s, in, in 1989. Ah, so he just can't go on again. To talk is going on. 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 It's now Warner's turn to break in the final rack. Warner made a ball on the break but has no shot on the one ball. So he might have to play a push out shot. A friend has to decide whether to take the shot or give it back to Warner. A friend takes the shot, but unfortunately, his defensive play falls short, leaving Warner with an unobstructed view of the one ball. Warner got lucky with his shot as the one ball went into the long corner pocket. But he is faced with a challenging situation as he doesn't have a clear shot on the three ball. And will need to make a great shot to continue his run. Warner impressively executed a double bank shot to sink the three ball, leaving the crowd in awe. A friend can be observed calmly waiting on his chair and wearing a smile as he watches the turn of events. Warner finds himself in a tricky position with the seven ball and will need to execute a difficult shot to maintain his momentum. Warner ultimately missed the seven ball and gave Efren the opportunity to win this match.
What a fantastic match it was, showcasing the remarkable skills and abilities of both players. But ultimately, it was Efren Reyes who emerged victorious, putting the last 9 ball and securing an 8-9 win against Nick Varner. We hope you enjoyed the game and we appreciate your support. Stay tuned for more exciting pool matches in the future. Take care and God bless.